Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Biologic Science News. Today, I bring you a newly observed behavior among dragonflies. The discovery was made by Rasim Khalifa, a researcher at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. He's been studying dragonflies for over a decade. Rasim was conducting basic research, just collecting some dragonfly larvae in the Swiss Alps, when he saw a female dragonfly, specifically an Eschna juncea, or a moorland hawker dragonfly. He saw it plummet from the air onto the ground, seemingly unwounded. A male dragonfly that had been flying around her assumed she was dead, and after a while he flew away. When the local area was clear of the aggressive male, the female righted herself and returned to the air. She had faked her death to deter attention from a male who was presumably looking for a mate. Rasim notes that this behavior was unheard of in his career. Naturally, it raised a few questions. What is this behavior, and why did it develop? To understand this, we have to take a more detailed look at the species of dragonfly, at the Aishna juncea, the moorland hawker. It turns out that this species of dragonfly doesn't have much of a post-mating relationship between the parents. Once they mate, the males just fly off in search of new mates, and, you know, they do their thing. And the females lay their fertilized eggs somewhere, and they stay with them, and they protect them until the eggs hatch. The thing to take from this is that the female dragonflies don't have the protection of the paternal male. The male isn't there also helping guard the den or gather food. He's just, he's doing his own thing. He's absent. So the female has to protect the eggs by herself. They're also vulnerable to the endless number of aggressive males that pester them for a chance to mate. But for the female dragonfly, this is a dangerous social environment. A single male can fertilize all their eggs in a single mating, and shortly after the eggs are laid, they can technically be fertilized again. The danger is here, because the dragonfly pregnancy involves a, a, a really significant physical distortion of the reproductive tract. It bulges the thorax and the abdomen. Recreating the distortion only strains already weakened tissue, and it can be lethally damaging for the female dragonfly. Because of these dangers, female moorland hawker dragonflies will retreat to areas of dense vegetation or some other kind of obstructive physical terrain, like under stairs or something like that, or in a shed. These areas offer more natural protection and discourage unwanted male attention. Unfortunately, it just isn't enough in most circumstances, and the females have to find another way to protect themselves until they're ready to mate again, you know, until they're ready to reproduce safely. In a larger context, this is called sexual conflict. It happens when the males and females of a species have evolved conflicting mating strategies or aggressive behaviors that coerce the partner organism into mating. Common examples of sexual conflict are things like ducks and their spiral-shaped genitals, they counter-rotate in males and females, which reduces the chance that the female can be coerced into sex by the male. And another example is the female praying mantis, killing her male partner after copulation. In moorland hawker dragonflies, the male mates as often as he finds suitable partners. The female just can't reproduce as often without risking death, so they're under considerable pressure to avoid males, to avoid reproducing too often. When hiding behind plants or porches or stairs or something like that just doesn't work, the female dragonflies will take the relatively extreme step of faking their own death. They do what appears to be a suicide dive, often at dangerously high speeds, to imitate the stiff form of a dead dragonfly. Rasim Khalifa observed more than 30 female dragonflies, and when they were harassed by an inquisitive and horny male, 87% of them faked their own death. And of these, 78% successfully discouraged the male from hanging around. So despite the risk of a sudden fall to the ground, it seems to be an effective strategy. So when the males just won't leave them alone, the female dragonflies take a relatively extreme step, faking their own death to avoid unwanted attention. <laughs>